Uh, good evening, this is a foreigner in the Philippines. Well, as you know, sometimes I like to read some of the letters that I get uh, from people. Sometimes uh, they're funny, sometimes they're touching, sometimes they're heartbreaking. But always uh, a great pleasure to see how people think and see how incredibly generous people can be. And sometimes it forces you to try to improve and and be better yourself. Well, in this particular case, a lady was uh, touched by uh, our situation with uh, the, the girl, Nisa, and she uh, was in the process of putting together Balik Bayan boxes. Now, what's special about this lady is that um, she is, uh, I take it that Obviously, uh, the people that that write to us, I, I don't know them personally, so I have to make certain certain educated guesses. But this lady is um, old enough to have grown up children herself, and she is uh, what they call legally blind. Now, legally blind means uh, obviously there's it's not a light switch, you know. For, uh, suddenly you're blind and you don't see anything at all. There are people who are born blind who see absolutely nothing, people who see shapes, um, there are degrees of it. Uh, and there's a point at which someone is made legally blind, and that's where this lady is. So she explains part of what that experience is during the letter. But anyway, the letter speaks for itself. I thought, I have read this letter before, uh, just on its own, and made comments during the letter. But this time I'm going to read her letter and then try to read my response to that letter. Um, uh, my response wasn't complete, uh, as there is more to this story. But anyway, here's the letter, and she is an anonymous, and that her family are an anonymous, uh, they gift anonymously so they asked to be called uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bean because they have um, a pretty comical dog who they call Mr. Bean so that's the that's uh, what um, what we're up, up, up to on this okay so her son says there's a little uh, note before the thing he said my mom did her best to write to you a letter which will be in the Balik Bayan box, but she also asked me to transcribe it to you in an email. I'll do my best to type it exactly as written here, and if I amend it a little, it's just to help with the grammar, that's all. Hi, Terence and Beth. Thank you for giving the gifts to Nisa's brother. This child has had an effect on me more than on any other people. Some nights it has been hard to get him out of my mind. Now, please, please, do not get mad at these questions. Please spell his name, as I do not pick it up when Beth says it. Number one question, has he ever gone to McDonald's with all the other children? Number two question, has he ever been on one of the shopping trips? Number three, and I do hope, let me see, I'm sorry, uh, on a swimming trip. Oh, I do hope you can read this. Being blind, I can see the black on this page, but not tell what I have written. I simply do not know if Dong has been included in any of these things. And she has a question mark on Dong. If he has not, I wonder why he is not included. Maybe kids on his part of the hill are not included. He is not Nisa. He is not his older brother, and he is not his mum. I think he won the bad luck of the draw. I was not surprised at his lack of emotion. What a sad story, as he will be out of childhood years. I do not want you and Beth to do anything against your thoughts and ways. You were very right about a bike and those kinds of things they wanted to spend out of medical money. Once again, I am sending a few things for this child. Maybe we can put a smile on his face. Also attaching $40 on this letter for Dong? Question mark. 
meaning who is down. This is not to be given to him, but if that little red truck of yours goes to McDonald's, I will pay for his share. Put the rest in an envelope with his name, and maybe if you do other things with the kids, he can be included. Thank you. Both of you are wonderful people. I also agree you cannot help the whole island. You need to slow down and will have to be selective. Also hard to do. It is hard to say no. Beth, slow down and take care of Terence. And Terence, take care of Beth. You are the kind of people I like to have in my corner. You can read this letter or part of it to share or not to read out loud. Another box is on its way and I hope it makes smiles. Mr and Mrs Bean. And then it gives the name and that they are from the USA. So that's the, the letter that she sent says and her son has put a note in afterwards and he says the original handwritten letter will be in the box too i look forward to seeing that so now and he does send a picture of the real life mrs bean but we haven't been able to see that yet so here is my uh, response to that and uh, on the understanding that you that you can understand that it's not a complete letter. So, hello to everyone in the Bean family and a smile. Thank you for your touching letters and for all that you are doing and have done for so many people you have not even met. So very kind. So, Mrs Bean, you force me to be forgiving and tolerant where I don't feel either. But that is always a good thing, so I should thank you for making me try to be a better person. Nisa betrayed our trust and lied about us on video, knowing it would be seen by many the world over. She has doubtless poisoned the mind of her younger brother, which would explain his response to being given the gifts by people he has been led to believe are his enemies. He will not hear anything good about us from Nisa or her friends, so it will take some work to bring him round. I can only promise to try. His name is Antong, but Beth calls younger kids Dong. For a boy and Dai for a girl, hence your name confusion. Antong has not been included in any of it, our outings or treats. We rarely see him. Had he showed up, he would have been treated like the rest and he would have been taken with us. Now, the four little girls' names. Now, what I didn't say was that uh, that Mrs. Bean had asked for the names of the four sisters from the three little girls' house because she wanted to make up a box that was specially for each child to be sent in the bigger box so she asked for their names so here's the names of the three little four little girls now four little girls names angelica i think is the oldest sister brian may the child who had injured her foot and it's all healed now Jean, one of the teenies beth calls her spaghetti in Sunday school, Beth once asked her why she should pray to God for blessings. She raised her arms high and shouted, Spaghetti! So she gets called Spaghetti. Bidoy. Now Bidoy is the other teeny who followed me around with a, sp with a stool whenever I went to see them so I could sit down when we first went to see the paralyzed man's family. All these kids are beautiful. Bidoy and Bijin did a funny dance together for us on our first visit. Of course, they are all little thieves. You can't leave your heart unguarded because they will surely steal it. Terence. Now the object of talking about any of these things is just to reveal the, the way that people are touched by things that they see in uh, social media. And it's not always uh, 
it's not always bad, it's not always exciting, it's not always anything but just people responding from the heart. And that's why these uh, letters that I get are worthy of being read as almost as uh, pieces of art or pieces of literature for me. And this lady, uh, who has more than enough to deal with in her life, being almost blind uh, or legally blind, has taken the time to think about a small child thousands of miles away from where she lives in what she recognizes is uh, comparative luxury. And she's taken the time to make up little gifts for little girls that she will never see and bother to put their names on them. And I think that that's uh, really very, very touching. And so I really wanted to share this letter and also um, the difficulty in, in uh, responding to such a letter. It's not easy. It's not, um, it's not something that you can do without thinking and it's not something that doesn't uh, change you. It does change you. It changes you when people make a demand on you which normally you would be able to just deny there was a need of. But now, because of this lady, uh, this this boy will have to be included on things and it will be a leap for us to go down there and, and tell him, look, if you would like to be here or there or at a certain time, then you can come with a load of other kids and do whatever it is that we are going to do. Probably the next thing we'll go along and take a few kids along and, and swim again as that was so much fun. So I wanted to share this. Uh, I hope that you have uh, taken something away with it from you, uh, away from it. Um, something that might even change you too. So this is a foreigner in the Philippines. Thanks for looking in. Uh, a heartfelt video for me. Uh, I hope it was um, revealing for you. Somebody that has also been incredibly generous, Mrs. O, said that letter was an eye-opener. And so, uh, yes, that's it. So thanks for watching, for listening in, and uh, for giving us your time. This is A Foreigner in the Philippines. Bye for now.